Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back <laughs> to yet another episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Place your bets whether that TV Junior is still in the building or not. <laughs> You're correct. Yeah, it's sold. Yeah, no, no, not you. You were wrong. You, you got <laughs> you. it right. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. People were all pissy. Another, another freaking. Yellow Les Paul. I'm so sick of this boring stuff. It's like, yeah, dude, it's my job, man. Yeah, it's gone. Sold. Sold. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing, dude. I'm sorry if you're bored with the really cool, super collectible stuff. But hey, it's Weird Ass Wednesday, and we're gonna bring it back today, so we can do some of that stupid stuff that you guys like too. That usually costs like 400 bucks. And I don't make any money. Um, Lexi also, do you have a shout out? Yeah, you have a shout out. Shout out yeah. Thank you. Oh, Jeffrey Robinson's dad, Johnny. It's his 70th birthday today, man. Happy birthday. Happy 70. Birthday. My dad, I think my dad's going to be 70 next year. Oh, man. 70 used to seem so old to me. It doesn't seem very old anymore. It's like, it yeah, doesn't. it's just like you wake up one day and you're 70. Norm's going to be 70 next year, too. Crazy. Crazy, uh, but like we were saying, it's Weird Ass Wednesday. We've never done this guitar before. We had one about a year ago that came in that I was going to do, and it sold like in the first day it was in the store. I never had a chance to do it. It's the first one we've had since. I have a very soft, soft spot for these guitars because it's a Keith guitar. It is a Keith guitar. But it's also like a Joe Perry guitar, and it's a Dave Grohl guitar, and it's a Ronnie Wood guitar, and it's, it's a whole bunch of people played these things. Tom Petty guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tom used one too. I'm really excited. It's Weird Ass Wednesday. Oh, you guys are going to love what you see here. You might not see anything, though. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about in a second. This is from 1969. It's the original Dan Armstrong Plexi guitar. Ooh. An original see-through plexiglass. Hello. Hello. That's really cool. How freaking rad is that? You can't see Answer? anything. Answer? Very freaking rad. Whoa. So let's talk about these guitars. Let's talk about Dan Armstrong. Who is Dan Armstrong? Dan Armstrong was kind of a session guitar player slash guitar repair man in the 1960s. Um, he opened a shop on 48th Street uh, in New York, uh, I want to say like mid 60s, like 1965, started doing repairs, kind of became an authority in the area on electric guitars. Um, like in 1968, Ampeg approached him about lending some designing um, eye and skills to a new line of guitars that they were going to do. So Dan jumped on board, and this is what he came back with the C through Plexi guitar. So this showed for the first time at the 1969 NAMM show and was kind of the absolute standout hit of the show. People freak the hell out with these things. They did not know uh, what to think, but they got very, very quickly uh, embraced by a lot of people. Keith uh, and Bill Wyman from the Rolling Stones being two of the first. Bill had the, the bass, Keith had the guitar, um, you'll see them both if you ever, I'm a big Exile on Main Street guy, there's a lot of documentaries, a lot of footage of Villa Nelcott in France. You'll always see these sitting around the basement in France, the Lucite guitars. Joe Perry famously always used these things. You see Tom with them. You see Dave Grohl in the All My Life video playing one of these, for those of you who like your early 2000s rock and roll. Um, but let's talk about them. These are clear plexiglass, but it was processed the exact same way as wood. So they sanded it and contoured it just like they were doing a wood-bodied guitar. This pit guard is actually made of Formica, uh, and it has like a laminate of like a faux Brazilian rosewood on the pit guard and on the uh, peg head overlay here. A uh, couple other interesting features about this, other than the fact that you can freaking see through it. Um, first off, 24 fret neck. So a full two octave neck, and you had full access all the way up to the 24th fret on either side. Uh, because of the way they did the cutaways and the way that body is shaped. So a full two octave, full access neck. The other very, very unique thing about this guitar um, are the pickups. So uh, that shop that Dan Armstrong had, he shared uh, with another guy by the name of Bill Lawrence, um, 
who, if you know anything about guitars, you've probably seen that name a bunch. Did some stuff for Gibson, did some stuff, obviously, for these Ampeg guitars. But he designed these pickups. Now, these pickups are modules that are interchangeable. All right? So on the back of the guitar here, we have this little set screw. You unscrew this set screw, and this pickup literally pops out, and you can pop in a different module, uh, and it'll just start to work immediately. Pretty revolutionary. Now, there's a variety of these pickups. I want to say there's, like eight or ten different pickups that all have different configurations with the blade or dual blades or whatever. Um, there's like the country treble, the country bass, the rock treble, the rock bass, the jazz treble, the jazz bass, the sustain treble, the sustain bass, and all of these pickups were kind of sold separately. I think they were 35 bucks each and you could kind of collect all the different pickups so you can continue to modify the guitar. Now this guitar comes with two pickups actually. This one that's in here right now, you'll see the pickups are actually kind of impressed. It'll tell you what it is. CB is be for country bass. Uh, inside the pocket here of the original case, you will see a second pickup. Oh, the rare humbucking, the ST or the sustain treble pickup. If you like the rock and roll, um, you're probably gonna like this pickup too. So yeah, these are totally in interchangeable. Um, these guitars are kind of rare. They came out in 69, they were a big, huge hit. Um, by 1971, Dan Armstrong and Ampeg were getting into some financial disputes. The whole thing got discontinued. It's so a three year run of these. Now they did do some reissues of these um, that Ampeg did. I think they did them in the 90s and then they did another run of them maybe 10 years ago, kind of in the early to mid 2000s. Um, they did another run of them, also Univox did a kind of copy of these uh, in the 1970s. Uh, but this is a real thing, man. Oh, could you imagine 1969 being on the floor of the NAMM show and seeing this freaking thing for the first time? I mean, it's still shockingly cool and revolutionary now. We're talking 60 years ago? No, that can't be right. No. No, 50 years ago. Yeah, 50. <laughs> Maybe it's 60, I don't know. I'm not good at math on the fly here, especially when I'm on the spot. But oh man, we got to go to the couch. What I'm going to do, this has a three-way switch, and we'll, we'll listen to this. I, I don't know if it works differently for different pickups, and I really can't find anything in the literature about it. But this, uh, all the way over here and in the middle, sound identical to me on both of these pickups. Uh, and then when you go far to the right, it kind of gets that almost like the dark circuit kind of thing kind of a muted muffly kind of thing it does with all the pickups but we'll go plug in both of the pickups we'll do a couple songs with each i'll let you hear that i don't know if it's even as musical as we're going to want to do a song with it but at least let you guys hear uh what these things can do because man everybody embraced these back in the day and talk about the most bitchin cool design i mean it's clear come on it's how so rad clear. is that so, oh, look at those oh, nails. Oh, look, you can see oh, it through yeah. the... Oh, yeah, that manicure, girl. Let's go to the couch. Let's plug this guy in. Let's see what it can do. Are you going to switch the pickup? Yeah, it takes, oh, it li uh, that's part of the demonstration because it oh, literally shit. takes about 20 seconds to put this pickup in. Why are you still filming me? All right, we're out front. We have the 1969 Dan Armstrong Plexi guitar, original see-through plexiglass body. Uh, we are going through uh, 65 deluxe reverb reissue from Fender. All those EQs are at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Uh, we're gonna start with the country bass pickup. Um, I'm gonna go through the switch just quickly so you can hear what's going on. This is hard to the left. The middle doesn't make much difference. When we start to get that kind of dark It sounds like ass there. We're just gonna stay in the middle. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Let's see what it does in the middle position. Alex, play a couple tunes here.
we're gonna keep playing. I'm gonna go up to the switch, see if we hear anything different out of there. Maybe you guys will hear it and I'm not hearing it in the room. Let's see what else it'll do here. show you guys as part of the demo here let's take the pickup out which is just going to be taking up this screw out Ooh. once you come to the front literally it just slides right out let's slide in the ST or the sustain treble pickup and we'll screw it back in nice demo look at that right mm -hmm. and just like that the pickup has changed now we're in the humbucking pickup here. The sustained treble, let's start with the switch uh, all the way to the left. You know what? Let's put an OCD on too, just to get a little more hair. position wide open see if we can hear. Original Dan Armstrong Plexi guitar comes with two of the original pickups, country bass and the sustain treble pickup. Original Lucite body, we got the Formica pickguard headstock overlay, original hard shell case. It's weird ass Wednesday, you guys have been asking for it. I've been waiting for it, it's finally back. By the way, 
If you're not following me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi, I posted a fantastic Frank Stallone video today. Oh, yeah, Of him favorite. doing some, it was some comedy game show. <laughs> I don't know, he's singing to some, like, uh, Toddlers in Tiara pageant girl. Go check that out, too. It's pretty <laughs> bad. It's, it's, it's sweet. It's yeah, hilarious. You should go check it out. Follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Of course, check this and the rest of all these other guitars out online. Norman'sRareGuitars.com. <laughs> And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace. Bye. Oh, oh shit. you still see me. Oh. <laughs>